lovely aunties. How are you guys doing today? So anyway, I am here going to change Kingston and get him into something a little bit more warmer. I need to switch out all the babies. Um, they've all been kind of just lounging in the same stuff. But I just haven't um, had the time to do it. But, ooh. Don't you pee on me. Um, yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to also come on and clear up something. I know my title kind of confused people. It said forever. Um, for sale or forever. Um, on my last video. And I was talking about my forever babies. But I was basically saying, will they ever be for sale or not? And I got a lot of messages about, you know, people wanting to buy my babies. But unfortunately, at this time, none of them are for sale. But I was just saying that, you know, which ones that I would probably not ever sell. And which ones that... I just can't say doesn't mean that I will sell them just mean that I can't you know be confident in saying oh I'll never sell that baby you know um, because I've said that so many times and then oh, I've said that so many times and then the um, the baby is being up for sale and then people are looking at me like you said that was your forever baby um but it just don't work like that um i dropped his stuff i said look at my little piggies all over here <laughs> i always have to play with her little feet um but yeah so none of my babies are for sale None of them for sale. Um, I have right now, somebody asked me how many babies I have. I have three silicone and four reborns right now. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. And I have four, um, four reborns. I don't know if I was going to put him on or under. I guess I will. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm more into silicone babies, but I will always love Reborns. Plus, Reborns are more affordable. Um, and if weighted right, they still feel good, too, um, to hold. So, sorry, guys. Uh, it looks, probably look kind of rough, but I'm watching. But, yeah, um, but for me, if I could... If I could, I would have a complete silicone nursery. <laughs> um, I am aiming towards going, you know, more so silicone, like partials and stuff like that in the future. I just really, really, really um, feel like at this point, with prices going up the way they are and reborn starting to cost, as much as they cost um, for, you know, the ethnic babies that I'm just like, I might as well just, you know, start buying partials because reborns cost as much and I really like the way, par you know, silicones feel. So I feel like with a partial, I'm getting the best of both worlds. It's like a reborn silicone. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, when I take them out, somebody, you know, walk up and touch her, they'll initially not notice that she's not real right off. And um, if they see, you know, her tummy or, oh, you guys can't see her, can you? Oh, yes, you can a little bit. Um, 
but at the same time, she's very posable. You know, I can do things that I can't do with Kingston. I mean, I can move his legs, you know, with me holding him and, you know, clothes and blah, blah, blah. But I can literally turn hers and leave it and, you know, um, so, and then, you know, the one thing too is like, said, you know, I don't know if you guys, let me see if you guys can see that a little bit more. And then when they have the belly, the tummy plates, it's like, I mean, she looks like she's a full body silicone, but she's not. And so I just like partials, um, a lot, a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I thought that I would, you know, really feel like I need a full body, but I'm telling you, if I couldn't afford a full body, a silicone would do me just, just, just fine. Um, which brings me to, um, I want you guys to go over and check out, um, Nina Bina Nursery. I think it's Nina Bina Nursery. Um, or it might be Nina Bina Babies. I can't remember. But it's N-I-N-I-N-I-N-A-B-I-N-A uh, -N -N Nurseries or Babies. I'll look up the description and I'll put it in my, um, I mean, look up the name and put it in the description bar. She just got two babies. Um, from Rachel Farrell. Um... She got a Hazel, and she got a Polly, and they're ethnic. They're so cute, and they're twins. Um, she had to wait a very, very long time to get them, but she's really enjoying them. So I just wanted to give them a, sh I just wanted to give them a special little shout out, but, um. I wanted to kind of talk about that though, um, but I don't want to, you know, make a big deal about it. Um, a lot of people have contacted me and, you know, just, you know, just asking me my opinion on it. The fact that um, when artists take a very long time, and I had a discussion with one of my subscribers, one of the aunties in the community, and I kind of seen her point. But the more I think about it, when I look at these individual situation, I have to go back to what I was saying. Um, what we the, the the topic was that um, you order a baby from an artist, and the artist takes like a very long time. Let's say you're expecting this baby in like six months and you wait a whole year or a year and a half. Um, or you're expecting this baby in three months and it takes them a whole year or a whole year and a half. Um, But it, if it's going to be worth it at the end, well, here's the problem with that. When an artist takes that long, especially on a partial, because the thing about a partial is it's less work than a full body. A lot less work because, or half the work because you don't have the body to paint and all that stuff. Well, by the time you wait that long, you've seen tons of other babies that's been ready to buy right then. Babies that you, you know, you might, um, would have preferred over that baby. I mean, it's just so much. And then, you know, all that waiting and they're sitting there with your money and then you've given them that money. And then your PayPal time runs out. And then what if you get in and something is off or something is wrong? You're kind of stuck. It's like so many things that makes me say, 
I don't think I would want to go with anyone that takes that long. I have did that and I was very angry. Um, and by the time the baby came, I did not, it, it, it made it hard for me to really enjoy the baby because I was so frustrated through the whole process of waiting. Um, so I know it might be worth it in the end if the baby looks good and all that and stuff, but it's, it's not fair to the collector and I, you know, yeah, I would wait, get it, enjoy it, whatever. But for future references, that would ruin me from going back to that artist because it just shouldn't take that long and artists need to stop overextending themselves. Um, but I'm going to be honest too about something with you guys. Um, that is why, you know, I, I uh, buy, buy it now as much as I can with my silicone babies. Uh, because I'm going to be honest, I have heard from, you know, the more experienced uh, silicone collectors. Because I'm, I'm still, you know, not like some of these other ones that have collected from almost every sculptor. Um, I have heard that most silicone artists take forever and they never be on schedule and all that stuff. So I've heard, you know, plenty of these stories from them and I've experienced it um, once. But the thing is, is that... Um, I don't know. I just, I don't think that's a good look, but that's just the way I think. And I'm, I'm not saying it like, oh, accept it. I'm just saying that for future reference, people should know that from my experience and from what I've heard that most silicone artists just takes their lovely time. Not only is that they don't, they're, they don't operate the same as reborn artists. And I don't know if it's because their process is different or what, but they don't do all that work in progress. They don't communicate with you a whole lot. And maybe because with the silicones, it's a lot of like tedious work and they don't have time for it. Um, but, and then like a work in progress picture of a baby, um, well, the silicone may be a lot different than a reborn because they go through such an ugly phase. I don't know. I have no idea, but I know that they don't. A lot of times their customer service and stuff is not as nice. Maybe I feel personally it's like they know that it's not that many of them out there as, as it is reborns. And so they don't have to cater to us like that. When reborn artists feel like, hey, it's like a thousand and one other reborn artists. You know, I got to set myself apart with customer service. Um, it's slowly, gradually getting to be more and more options to um, silicones. But still, to this day, it's not that many good artists. It's a lot of people out there trying it and new and experimenting and stuff like that. But, um. I don't know, but that's that's what I think, and I'm kind of rambling, but I need to get up off of here. I want to um, do a details video of Piper just so you guys can see. You guys probably won't see Piper a whole lot. She's more like a little personal baby for me, but I did want to put her in better lighting so you guys can see her um, more of her, you know, her detailing and all that stuff because she's really nicely done i did a video actually a changing video of her and as i was looking at the video i'm like oh she looks so pale and washed out she looks horrible in that video so i won't even upload it so i'll try to do another one and do it you know details with it but anyway so see you guys